Hey guys, thank you for stopping by my channel today. I am going to be doing favorites in this video and I had to drag that out because I can't remember what month. We're in November, so that means I'm going to be doing October favorites. I don't know why I keep getting stuck on that. That happens every single month. So let's get started because I got a lot of stuff and I don't want to talk forever and I don't think you want that either, so let's go. I have some new to me products that are both in the setting your makeup category. They both come in little black cases. You could almost interchange them, but I love how everything is just starting to look the same. I don't really love that, that was sarcasm, but I just love how everything is starting to look the same. So first let me talk about um, IT Cosmetics. I learned about this from Kathleen Lights. She was really excited about it and um, I tried it out and now I can see why. Um, by IT Cosmetics, it's the Bye Bye Pores, let me look at it now because it's long, Airbrush Silk Pressed Finishing Powder with Collagen Silk Peptides and Antioxidants. I'm not sure if I mentioned this already, but if I have, it's only because I really, really like it. So it's a translucent setting powder, and so it looks kind of white. It goes on translucent and transparent, and so you don't see it. I use it underneath my eyelids, underneath my eyelids. I use it under my eyes to set my concealer. I also use it on my eyelids themselves after I have prime them with one of the MAC paint pots. I typically use soft ochre. Um, I like to use it on my eyelids as well so that the soft ochre paint pot is not quite so tacky. And so this gives the lid a nice smooth canvas to work with when you start applying shadow and really try to make sure you can blend them all in. The other setting powder that is new to me um, is by Youngblood. I haven't really heard terribly much about them, but they're a natural mineral brand, and I learned about them through my stylist, my hairstylist. Um, this also is a setting powder. This officially, well, this, it has a little bit of color. It has a little bit more color than the Bye Bye Pores, um, but really, it, for all intents and purposes, it goes on translucent. It is the Pressed Mineral Rice Setting Powder. So this one has some rice in it, and the Bye Bye Pores has some collagen and silk and other vitamins in it. I cannot believe how well this works. I've actually now taken a break from my Rimmel Stay Matte setting powder, which I was also using. I think they call it transparent versus translucent. But I was using that compact after compact. I hit pan a number of times. I thought it was great. And then I started using the rice infused one by Youngblood. And I feel like I wasn't even using setting powder before at all. That's how much better it is. And it makes me really grumpy because it's about six times as much money. It's about $33 for this compact. But let me say, it is talc free. And the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder does have talc in it. And I tend to have very sensitive, not so much sensitive, but I break out very easily. And I can get kind of splotchy, red splotchy sometimes. And so if that's your situation also, go for a powder that's talc free, pay way more money when they take ingredients away, like talc. So for those of you with oily skin and you are concerned about trying to mattify that oil throughout the day, I barely had to touch up with this throughout the day. I, I really I was just overwhelmingly impressed with how well it set my makeup and absorbed the oil. Apparently, rice is magic. Going along the skin lines, I have said a million times that I break out and I have adult acne and I can't stand it. I find that in addition to using a medium to full coverage foundation, right now I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I also like the L'Oreal Pro Matte foundation that you can find in the drugstore. So I never really use a light weight foundation. That being said, wherever I've got um, acne spots or red scars or red splotches, I have been concealing actually with the typical Bare Minerals um, mineral foundation. I'm using the one in matte, but you can use the one in original. There is just something about this powder that because it's so creamy and because it does blend into your skin so easily, it winds up adhering to the spot, 
but not be, not looking cakey and not wearing off. That's my most major problem when it comes to concealers is that I find that they wear off and this one manages to stay in place like crazy. I've been using a Real Techniques um, concealer brush in order to apply it. It's really good because it's a stiff, dense brush. You can, oh my gosh, <laughs> did you see that? I, I need to clean my brushes. Um, it's a really dense, with a point, it has a little tiny point, so you can be very, you know, very particular about where you're applying it, but it's also a full brush, so it winds up absorbing enough of the mineral powder so that you can very thoroughly cover acne, which I am very familiar with. Since I was talking about a Real Techniques concealer brush, I'm gonna talk about another Real Techniques brush. This is their foundation brush. So it's thin and long and very, very narrow. I've actually been using this. This is kind of a multitasker, kind of an alternate use for it. I've been using it to apply face masks. Now, I know that Glam Glow makes apparently the most amazing face masks. Face masks. I cannot step up and put that money out yet. I haven't actually even tried them. I know you can get samples because I don't want to try them because I don't want to know what I'm missing because at the moment I'm pretty satisfied with what I'm using. Um, when it comes to, I like using clay masks because I feel like they clean out my pores. I have large pores. I have acne. I have oily skin. I need to clear all of that out. And so I typically favor clay masks. Right now I've been very satisfied with two of them put out by Freeman. Um, one of them is the avocado and oatmeal clay mask. It's this guy right here. He's green. Another clay mask by them is the facial anti-stress mask, Dead Sea Minerals, um, which also clears pores and smooths skin. And it's it appears, it's a very loose and creamy um, clay mask as well. So I don't like getting the clay mask in my cuticles and under my fingernails and I don't like getting it in my hair. So I apply it and spread it with the Real Techniques foundation brush and it winds up working out really, really well. It's a brush that moves makeup product around basically and it works for a clay mask also. And so this guy is always sitting with these guys. Let me talk about a couple of blushes. First of all, the holy grail for many people is Peaches by MAC. It's this guy right here. Very universal, very, just very wonderful. I mean, you almost can't go wrong. Jaclyn Hill said in one of her videos um, a while ago that whenever she would work at MAC, she basically put peaches on everybody because it worked out really, really well. It is a sheer tone blush, which I think is part of its charm because you can't overdo it and it just winds up blending onto your skin really, really nicely, and you can put it on in a rush and really not overdo it, and it really is a very universal um, shade, peaches. So because I loved the sheer blush so much, I was like, well, I wanna try something else from the line then. So I did, I got another one called Pinch Me, and again, like I said, this is one of the sheer tone blushes and it's kind of a, it's, it looks really dark. It doesn't show up that dark. I'm actually wearing it today. And I like it because it's kind of the complement to peaches. So it's, it's cooler because it is pink based, but it's not pink. It's like a rose, definitely rosy. It's rosy, it's muted, it's subtle, but it's also sheer. And so it's just super user friendly. And I've really been liking it. I kind of alternate between the two, just depending on what, what eye color or lip color I'm doing, or maybe how much makeup I'm wearing versus how much not. I've been applying my sheer tone blushes with a new brush that I got from Morphe and I've been promising a Morphe's brushes video for like ever but there's been so many other products that have come out and I keep buying more Morphe brushes so that video is coming I promise anyway I got a new brush it's the M403 and they call it their blush brush basically it's really soft I love how you can just kind of really just kind of get messy with your application, but because it's so soft and full, it doesn't put blush everywhere. It works really well with the NARS blushes because the NARS blushes are like major pigment and you have to apply them with such a light hand. And so this makes that much easier, but I've been using them with my MAC Sheer Tone blushes as well, and it's just been working out really good. Finally, I have a lipstick. I dove into the ColourPop, um, 
I think it's ultra matte lips. Um, it's the shade that I'm wearing right now. It's called Beeper, and it's like a it's a brown mauve because it's more brown than mauve, um, but it's definitely mauvey like, and it's just I'm like just loving this shade. It's you're, you're able to actually wear a dark shade and kind of have a strong eye at the same time because it's such a muted dark. It's not like a bright dark. Does that make sense? Do you feel me? Does that make sense? I'm not sure. Anyway, it's just a really amazing dark mauve shade that I've totally been loving for fall as we approach winter because oh my goodness it's so cold outside feels like winter but I think it's still technically fall so my favorite fall shade of the moment by Colourpop and did I say what it's called? It's called Beeper. So that sums up all of my favorites for the month of October. What have been your favorites this month? I would definitely like to know, so please leave me a comment down below. Thank you again for spending this time with me. I do look forward to seeing you in my next video, and in the meantime, have a really good rest of the day. Thanks. I'm not sure why, but I think that's pretty neat. Do you remember beepers? Oh my gosh. And all the different codes you would get to say with numbers, one, four, three, I love you. Aw, beepers. But it's... Like I said, it's just kind of this muted brown sort of mauve, and I'm surprised that I was able to, I think it looks good. Since I was talking about real techniques, techniques here, sneak me, I wasn't actually talking about that because I completely mangled that word.